Before we jump into the data analysis process, let's talk about some of the kinds of problems you might solve as a data analyst. When many people hear the term data analyst, they picture someone who works at a tech company, and probably in Silicon Valley. Many data analysts do, in fact, work at tech companies. For example, Netflix uses data analysis to provide personalized movie recommendations for its users. Facebook uses it in its newsfeed ranking algorithm. And OkCupid uses it to predict which people are likely to be good romantic matches. In addition to building these kinds of systems, many companies also use data analysis to publish papers or write blog posts about their findings. For example, Facebook has studied the ideological diversity of people's political posts. They found that when posts appear on people's newsfeed written from a different perspective, users are less likely to click on those posts. OkCupid wrote a blog post about what are the best questions to ask someone on a first date. Did you know that long-term couples are very likely to agree about whether they like horror movies? Data analysts don't just work at tech companies, though. Walmart looks through their purchase records and people's posts on social media in order to figure out what to stock in their stores. Apparently, strawberry Pop-Tarts are more likely to sell right before a hurricane. Bill James is famous for applying data analysis to baseball. He used it to understand who the top performers are and how to best predict future performance. And pharmaceutical companies have started to use machine learning to predict which chemical compounds are most likely to make effective drugs. Using this, they can make better decisions about which compounds are likely to be a good use of the resources involved in running a clinical trial. If you'd like to learn more about any of these applications, check out the links in the instructor notes.